Okay, this is the uh, East Coast Greenway, aka Rails to Trails. Uh, it's also known, and this is Burkholm Road actually, let me let you know that. In Mims, we're crossing Burkholm. A lot of traffic, you see? Okay. This was one of the worst culverts I had to work on here, but I want to do this video for people who aren't familiar with the area. I'm traveling north on the trail, and apparently there's a uh, guy here sleeping on the trail from what I understand. I just talked to some passerby who spoke with him. So, you know, it happens. <sighs> Morning. Okay, well, he's resting peacefully and we'll just leave him there. <laughs> but this is the rail trail. We're north of uh, Mims now. We've crossed the Burkholm Road. And uh, this video, my name is Gary Norman. This video is for uh, cyclists who pass through here who might be in need of refreshment or rest. There's two spots along here. I don't know if we'll make the second one because that's way up in Maytown. But the first one is going to be on the east side of the trail. And that's, I don't know if you can see it up ahead, but that's I-95 overpass. It will become clearer as we get closer. But it's a beautiful day out. Beautiful day. I think the high today is 91. It's June 3rd, 2018. And, uh, whew. I feel like I've been on the bike for a month already. <laughs> okay. So, you're going along the trail. Oh, that must have been a wild night. Okay. So, we're on the trail, I'm going north, heading towards Volusia County from Brevard. <laughs> and if you're traveling this route, uh, on the east side of the road up here is the White Sands Buddhist Center. Um, I have not been there personally. I, I can see they've got some very large, large statues of Buddha, like taller than tree statues. But they've created a nice little path from their property through the woods to the trail. And if you need drink or rest, or feel like you want some Buddhist gifts, that's the place to go. Morning. How much of it you'll see through the trees. I think there's several buildings on the property. And I think the, uh, oh yeah, the, the vegetation. Well, maybe you can see it. There's a huge statue of Buddha through the trees. It's actually about the size of the trees. And you can see a lot of trees down from Hurricane Irma last year. She, she was in the But, nonetheless, we're Floridians, we can deal with it. As long as it's not below 50 degrees, we're fine. Horse poop. Ooh. Thank goodness I can't smell it, but... Unfortunately, what I can't get through this video to you is the smell that I'm going to encounter here shortly. As you can see, the I-95 overpass. This is what I refer to as Guano Falls because there are probably thousands of bats under this bridge, under these two bridges. And the guano drips down the columns, that, the supports that hold the bridge up. And it smells delightful, <laughs> let me tell you. It is absolutely delightful. This is also a Rancha Road. Once we cross over to this and pass I-95, we are going into the, ooh, we're going into the Netherworlds. <laughs> the reserve land out where there could be any number of wild animals, both pretty, dangerous, and harmless. <laughs> but we shall see. Let's see, you can see the you could probably hear the bats.
iguana. Oof, God, the smell is horrendous. But, and what I just saw a few days ago, which is really weird, is there's a big bat box right there, double-sided bat box. It's like a bat condominium. We're crossing a uh, Blunt's Ridge. This is the parking lot where I started when I started early because I wanted you to see the White Sands Buddhist Center. So if you're in need of refreshment or bathroom or feel like some Buddhist gifts or some Zen postcards or something, that's the place to do it. And I'm sure it's probably a beautiful complex and I do plan on going there. Uh, no upload load. Trail ends in 5.4 miles. Right. It actually doesn't, but that's the county line and Volusia County's got it, got a barricade across it. It's a construction zone, stay out. But you know, cyclists are kind of like skateboarders. <laughs> if we can ride it, we're gonna do it. Here come some cyclists here. We are heading into the nether region again. Good morning. 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 towards Scottsmore, sort of. Scottsmore is actually to the northeast of us. We are traveling north-northwest. It's already hotter and blazes. Goodness. Thank God I've got my SPF on. But I love this. I don't, you know... I love the biking, I love the solitude, I love the, the quiet, the nature. I mean, obviously this is, uh, this is the old railroad tracks and that's why it's built up above the swamp, which is right there on both sides, dog poop. Um, and that's pretty deep too, actually. But, morning. And this culvert was an absolute mess too. This is one you had to either climb over, go through the water, or turn around. So, but it's beautiful country. This is, uh, this is, I think, I think I can say that this is pretty much Florida, as wild as it's gonna get, with the exception of some fencing. <laughs> <laughs> some barbed wire fencing so like again I don't know if this is all private land or if this is reserve state reserve land but the rail trail goes right through a little bit east of center of this huge hunk of property and some parts of it there are barbed wire fences about 40 50 feet off the trail sides um, again you can see more Irma damage, Irma damage, Irma damage, I can't even say it, but this is another one of those culverts that was an absolute monster. I'd ridden this far before the, uh, I'd ridden actually way past this before the, uh, before it was paved, but after Irma, we had gotten so much water that the swamp had overtaken these areas where the culverts are now. And uh, the water was several feet deep, and in some locations, it was actually rushing water. And uh, this swamp water is not pretty. <laughs> it's kind of a bronze color. I got my Converse in at one time, and they changed about 15 shades. Cactus, or something like that. Um, they changed about 15 shades, lighter from one dipping in the swamp water. Uh, but, yeah, this is it. We'll see all, all these cyclists out here. I don't get so worried about finding animals. Because if there's enough people, they're gonna stay away. 
so that you can see how close the water is to the trail. So, and remember this used to be railroad tracks, probably back in the early 1900s, I would think. There are some odd trails off of this, dirt trails, I wouldn't take them. All sorts of cyclists today. Morning. Hey, morning. Racers. They're fun to watch. It's kind of like watching NASCAR except with bicycles. How they draft off each other and but I ride in a race bike. F that. Tires are too small, seats are too thin. <sighs> How y'all doing? Thank you. Excellent. In Brevard County, Titusville, whoever is responsible for this, I would surely think a sign or two that let people know that they could encounter Florida panthers, black bears, wild boars, alligators, or deer. And God knows what else might be out here. Coyotes or whatever. See, it's swampy on this side. Very jungle-like. And it's swampy right off the side. There's like a drainage ditch. You can see all the fern and everything, how lush it is. But it's probably some, a lot of dry land, too, that the animals use. Morning. Good. How y'all doing? Well, everybody, well, almost everybody said hello this morning. That's rare. But this is the rail trail. East Central Regional Rail Trail, I believe it's called. It's also called the East Coast Greenway because way up the road here, it's going to connect and you can head east towards Edgewater and then north to Daytona. But that's a few miles up. And then Edgewater is probably 10 miles, maybe, or more. Hard to say. And see, once you get north of 95, I mean, you can't hear the traffic. There's, there's no noise other than the sound of bicycles and a, an occasional hello and some chit-chat here and there. Otherwise, it's all natural sounds. And it's a beautiful place to be. Beautiful place. Morning. Morning. Yep, somebody peeled out there. Now we're four miles from the county line. It's Titusville's 15 miles of the trail. But of course you can continue going south all the way to Key West via US-1 and other trails connected along the way. 
Okay, see in out here it's not so swampy. It's still wet. But a little more woodsy. And there's Darnell I see out here on occasion and he's a big one. He'd probably carry me off if he wanted. If we see him, that's cool. Yeah, I'd ridden way up here without the pavement. Oh, what a ride, too. It was all gravel. Gravel and sand and this. And it's funny, too, because all those times I rode out here, when there was no people and nothing, and it was just dirt, I never saw any wild animals. <laughs> see them. I think I'd ridden definitely this far. I might have ridden further than this, but definitely no. I'm trying to stand up. But definitely this far because this is where the trees got blown over by Irma. Man, I see deer through here too. Well, most of the time. Stay in the middle. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Oh, I do this for YouTube, so other cyclists know what they're getting into. <laughs> Have a great ride, man. Yes, yes, I have a rear view mirror that I never use. <laughs> Isn't that refreshing? And I have a tendency to meander all over the trail. Oof. But I think we'll get to the next culvert and I'll stop the video. Because yeah, you're not going to really see a whole lot out here. Other than what you're seeing now, there's the equestrian trail on the left as you're going north. Woods and all these trees right here are endangered Florida willows, which it's nice to see so many of them. It is an endangered species. This is kind of endangered species land, really, because there's a lot of gopher tortoises out here, and they're endangered. Florida panthers are endangered. I don't think the black bear are. <laughs> But oh, thought it was a lizard. You gotta watch it. See, there was a fire out there. Trees burnt. You can see these. Palms. I know I've shown this before. You can see these palms. The trunks are all black from fire. There's dead trees. Whew. See, everybody and their mother goes faster than me. <laughs> okay, there's nobody behind me. trespassing so I have to assume it's probably or possibly private property or just keeping people off of it. You can see that all I think there's morning glories morning glories. Daisy beans. I love the cypress trees. They're very pretty, very soft looking. The fern, the uh, needles, very, very soft. I didn't realize they got quite so tall though. I know the pines do. Stay to the right, stay to the right. 
somebody stole the stop signs <laughs> or the yield signs that oh, maybe they haven't put them in yet. We're still in North Brevard County. And you can't see it in this, I'm sure you probably can't see it in this camera, but I'm going to hold it up. Can you see that? Huge berm. It's like, it's like 20 feet tall. And it's been there for a long time because it's got palm trees growing on it and pine trees growing on it. And I don't know, and it's very, very long. It's almost like an old levee or something. Uh, a levee built by, you know, with land. Dirt. Whew. Okay, okay, this is where I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm quite sore <laughs> and I want both hands on the wheels. So I hope you've enjoyed this little oh, trip. And see, you can see the color of the swamp water. It's got kind of a bronze to it. This side's kind of dry compared to the other areas, but I think this is, I don't know, one of these little culverts is where I saw that raccoon and got those cool pictures. But, okay. And, uh, have a good ride.